Welcome to the final race of the regular season. Carson Bowers and Joshua C on the front row. Here's the full qualifying results. So it's the final race, race number 26. Last chance to get into the playoffs. Not only that, this is the Brickyard 400. Some may say it's a crown jewel race because of its history, the history of the racetrack. I don't consider it, but it's still pretty special to win here. So uh, we're almost almost got the race command and here it is without further ado let's get this race started drivers start your engines engines fired up here we go so Andrew Johnson in the two has already locked up the regular season championship even though his poor finish at Darlington he's still had enough points to win it, so he'll head into the playoffs with 15 extra for 15 uh, playoff points. He has not won a race yet. Remember, winning a race gets you five playoff points. <coughs> Drivers have won only one race, except for Orius. He's won a race, but he's the last in points. He cannot make it into the playoffs. His Playoffs hopes are pretty much done. No, they are done. <coughs> Kevin Warden in a 96, 35th with one win. If he wins it, he'll definitely get in. Jaron Cowlin, 29th. Mitchell Henderson, 28th. Jack Legacy, 21st. Marcus Atachi, 19th. Stuart Gretton, 17th. There's two drivers who've already locked up a spot that are below 16th. So it's going to be top 14 unless one of those other drivers win a race. Stuart Grant went 17th in points with one victory. He'd somehow get up there. He doesn't have to win, but wins a guarantee. Car Mark Marcus actually starts sixth. He's 19th with one win. Pace car is in. Here we go. For the rest of the drivers, season is over. All I could do now is just get some trophies, get some wins, and off an eye note. Green flags out. Here we go. Remember, we're using restrictor plates. So it's going to be a pretty slow Brickyard 400. It's going to be our slowest Brickyard 400. Can take a while to get up to speed too. Should be running almost flat out all the way through, like it's the Italy 500. Well, I think they do lift just a bit, but that's about it. <coughs> Carson Bowers on a 52. He does well. He does not need to get a second. He's 15 in points. He's just gotta get one spot for now. See how it plays out first. In the turn three, two Gibbs car going at it. Dylan Young in the 11. He is 10th in points. <coughs> he gained eight spots after Darlington. That's insane. And caution's already out on the first lap. And <coughs> 52 will be your race leader. He'll take the yellow flag. Caution is out for the first time. We'll take a look at the replay. Right at the back of the pack, 20 car, Alexander Rowe. See what happened here. Ouch, contact from Derek Edison and uh, Diego Yepes. 20 car gets clipped. 22 of Anderson into the wall hard. Both T drivers are locked in <coughs> to the playoffs. Alexander Rowe with two wins, and Max Anderson in by points. Currently third in points. It's pretty pretty safe to say that he's in the playoffs but his day is already done a hard hit for the 22 take a look at that again hit right at the edge of the safer barrier hitting the edge of that is just it's a hard hit there's a contact and hit right on the edge I'm surprised he's still driving that race car I don't know how he's doing that but there's the first caution of the day we'll take you back to the restart 
Oh, well, their lights aren't off, but trouble with the 52. But he's not the only one with trouble. Tony Green and the 19 also up in smoke. And he's 16th in points. Oh, that's a heartbreak. Didn't even have a chance to get into the playoff. And his day is already over with a mechanical failure. Two drivers with mechanical failures, 19 and the 52. The race leader, Carson Bowers, who's 15th. His playoff hopes are also over. The Bristol winner. Both drivers were so close and now all because of a mechanical failure. They're done for today. Well, Carson Wood will drive it back to pit road. Tony Green, however. Like he's, yeah, he's already on, probably already on pit road. And Mitchell Henderson, who also needs to get a win. So that's three drivers with potential, with problems. 51 52, their teammates. Could be the same situation, maybe. 19 header, 52, just coming in. But uh, we'll just skip you to the restart. So, Dylan Young in front now. Camshaft with the 52 car. 51, we don't know yet. He's still on pit road. Dylan Young, he is, remember, he's 10th in points. He does not need to win. Well, even if he does win, it doesn't. Can't get in. But eight spots after Darlington, that's insane. He had a good run at Darlington. Eli Bright who won Darlington, gained five spots. He's eighth in points. So here are the drivers who are not locked in by wins, but are in the top 16. Andrew Johnson, Max Anderson, Keith Stevens, Joe Jefferson, Aaron Carlson, Eli Bright, Nick Kennedy, Dylan Young, Diego Yepes, Raymond Fisher, Luke Sasser, and... Carson Bowers, but he's already out, and here we go, getting ready for the restart. And the green flag's out. We're back underway. Tony Green. Well, I should say it's top 14, not top 16. Here goes Nevins and the 18. Nevins put the block on the 18 car. Looking inside for the race lead. Got a restart for the 24. Mac Nevins, one of the drivers. Well, he's 20th. He gained four spots, but... Can he gain six spots? I don't know. We'll see. Stage points. I forget stage points. It's going to be very important. Here goes the 18 car. His, season, well, his chances are also over. 30th in points. <coughs> Jack Legacy in a 12. His quarter win at Pocono. 21st. He probably needs to win on a mission right now. Tim Randolph. In the 66. Is there a crash? Yeah, we got spoke. Caution flag is out. They'll race it back to the stripe once again. Coming to the line, it will be 18. Edging out Malik Nevins for the race lead. Yellow is out. We'll take a look at the replay. Careful, don't wreck again. A lot of contact back there. Oh, there they go. They didn't listen. They seem alright. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. We'll take a look at the replay. Or not. Second I cut. And they all just pile in and turn to what's going on. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Wow. And that was, a, that was even bigger than the actual caution. The 18 year leader has damage. Almost all of them have damage. A lot of wreck race cars under yellow. They crashed under yellow. That's our biggest wreck yet. That's unreal. A lot of cars to pit road. Take a look at the replay now. It was just a spin. The 9 car got turned by Hillary Sanchez on the 32. 9 car, one of the drivers, is 31st in points. No chance at the playoffs. And how ironic, I think. To go on top sp well, yeah, I guess I top speed. Only one car spins out, but they're all in the yellow, they're going about sixty miles an hour, and they all crashed. Currently the biggest wreck so far. As we fast forward, Nick Kennedy. Forty one and the fourteen, two teammates who've won races. Calvin needs to win. Stevens does not, and hard impact for the wall for the forty one. I don't know how much that's going to affect this car. 
Kennedy going for a spin. Nick Kennedy, who is a ninth in points, does not need to get a win. I don't even know what happened up here. Take a look. Looks like they saved it. But then they just all they went three wide and they all just wrecked. Four and eleven. Still I'm not happy with the four car? I don't know, maybe. It caused an unnecessary wreck. Caused a chain reaction. Twelve, and then the twelve is the eighteen. And they all just stack right up. Look at that. Look at that. What a mess. That could have been easily avoided. They just keep stacking up. Kevin Ward in it. That's probably it. Even if he stays on a racetrack, I don't think he has a chance. Both front end and just destroyed. Oh, that's unreal. That's unreal. Well, it's done. It's done. We'll take you back to the restart. Stage is almost complete. How many of those guys got taken out because of that? 21, 96, 92, 14, 88, 1. 13, 2, and 38. Several cars out of that. 18 stays on the racetrack but have a lot of damage to the rear end and some on the left side. Here they come. Can you make it? Well, we got plates. We'll see. 12 cars got some damage. 66, 11. A lot of cars. I was still up there with damage as the green flag waves. We're back underway. 11 can't get going. The 18's okay so far. Here goes the 24 to the inside. Here goes the 12. Here Randolph also trying to hang on to the top 5. Wait, did I, did I, earlier did I say the 66 at the car to beat at Darlington? It was up there, right? Oh, the side was more. And Evans pulls away. Jack Legacy moves up the second with the, with the damaged race car. Here they come, one lap away from the halfway point. We wait for the last car, which is the 95 of Fisher, who's won the Brickyard 400, and also currently 12th in points. It'll be one to go this time, by Caution's out, caution's out, caution's out. Keep digging, come on. Big lead for the 24. Pretty sure the draft is very strong. Gonna be really strong for today's race. Look at that. About a three miles an hour difference. But I don't think they'll catch him. I think Nevins will take the stage win. <coughs> yeah, this is his. Now, uh, Marcus is actually going to need these stage points. It's going to be nine points. That's going to help him in the playoffs. Or help him towards getting into the playoffs. Jefferson, he gets by the 12. So, stage is complete. Now, Nevins is your stage winner, and there's smoke. Someone crashed. Marcus is actually second. Ori is third. Joshua C, fourth. Smith, fifth. Jefferson, sixth. Jack Legacy, seventh. Luke Sasser, eighth. Carlson, ninth. And getting the last point is <coughs> the 62. And they're all stacking up again. But less uh, messier, but still. Manny S getting the last point. And someone spun out in coming off of one. Let's take a look at that. Well, I didn't have to throw the caution out. Well, it didn't matter. So the three car got into Tim Randolph in the 66. Hook still young in the 11. This can hurt him a lot in points. He's not too far off from 14th. He does have a slow car, and Stuart Grant in the 42, who needs to win. That's going to be big, really big. And that possibly ends his playoff hopes. Grace Saints Vito is in by wins. Patrick Mew, his car is destroyed. Diego Yepes almost went up and over. Wow, that's a pretty big wreck. On the 6 also got into him, who missed out on Darlington, just one spot short. Yepes into the outside wall hard. Is he in by points? He's 11th. It's going to be hard to tell. 
41 who needs to win. That might not happen. Mew, uh, oh, he never had a chance coming into this race. Well, anyone who didn't win Darlington, that was it for them. Anyone who could make it on by points. Tim Randolph, there goes his chances. Well, he was 18th. Could have gained some points, big points. That may have got him in the 14th. A lot of heartbreak. A lot of heartbreak for a lot of drivers. 48. Well, he's already in, so. Probably doesn't want to end up. No, well, probably does Obviously, doesn't want to wreck race car. But not, not much to worry about for the 48 team. But for the 75, the 41, the 11. Yeah, there's a lot to worry about. I'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. Nick Kennedy just broke something. It's a header, 47 out, 6, 42, 66. Yep, Sir Grant, chances is over. He won Talladega early in the season. Colonel was 17th entering this race, no change from Darlington. Was only one win away. And he probably didn't even need the win. Tough. Tony Green lost 6 spots after Darlington. A lot of crazy changes after Darlington. Eli Pride, who won that race, gained 5. Dylan Young gained 8. Yep, has lost 4. Bowers lost 3. Tony Green lost 6. So here we go, coming to the green. Mark Nevins at the 24 will lead him to the stripe. Green flags out, here we go. Be a big win for the 4 car, but yet he's currently in 2nd. They all stay single file for now. There goes Orius, there goes the 4. Currently 19th. He's actually ahead of most of those guys, but is it enough? Well, we don't know. So he better win the race to be sure. Aureus, the only driver who has a win, but cannot make it even if he does win this race. Last in points with one victory. I don't think I've ever seen it before. No, he's still got a lot of races, including this one, so he could get out of there. There he goes, did he inside? I believe he's trying to be the second driver to win the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in any season. What it in season 7 or season. S yeah, season 7. <coughs> Fisher in the 95. Currently driving the 95 has won it. Both won it with Henrik in the number 5 car. Not in the same season though. Well, the 18 and the. Getting real close. Oh, there he goes. He gets turned by the 10. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Oh, he's going to get back on the racetrack. Someone swiped him, but he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, and his teammates just almost pile drive him. Caution is out. Raise it back to the stripe. Oh, he's still the leader. Here goes a four looking for a second place back. It'll be bitter street. Uh, street. Sweet. Or not really, not bittersweet. Um, I guess mixed emotions, mixed feelings. If Orius wins this race, if only he was in top 35, that this uh, and if he wins the race, that'll be big. But mathematically, he cannot <coughs> get into the top 35. He's about, I think, 62 points out. So the caution is out. We'll take a look at the replay. Now, uh, the 18, well, another driver who. Playoff hopes ended at Darlington. But going for wins, he's had some, a lot of rear end damage. A 10 trying to make it 3 wide. Just hooked him. I think he's trying to tuck back in, but not quite clear. Just an inch more. And he probably could have avoided this. He went for a ride through the apron. And it's the 37 who almost who got the little scrape off the back bumper. And there goes the 20 and 11. Just got right by him through the going through the grass. Wait, that's the 37. Yeah, that's the 37. So, <coughs> that was it. One car out, one car spin. And that was it. Probably not happy. Was in the top five and out of contention. I'll take you back to the restart. Three to go. Three laps. Not three. Two. Three now. Now it's going to be two. And 18 is actually out of the race. He's given up. So forget it. Put it behind the wall. That's tough. Still had a good car, even with a lot of damage. Green flags out, here we go. 
This is like uh, 2014 when uh, Junior won the first race out of when, once he got eliminated from the chase. It'll be just like that if Ori wins this race. Marcus Atachi in the four, you know he's gonna be super aggressive. Because if he can't make it in by points, I don't. He may or may not. I don't know. But if he can, not, he's gonna have to win this race. And what do you do when you're in a situation like this? Oh, you just gotta give it all you got. Here he comes with the plates <coughs> put on. The draft is gonna be strong, like you're at Daytona or Talladega. Three car breakaway. Here comes the four to the inside. And a crash behind, and a caution is out. That means we're going to go into overtime. <coughs> so it's not over yet. We are not done. Aureus in front. So Marcus is going to be second. He'll be restarting on the outside. That's going to be tough for him. But we'll see how it plays out. But we'll take a look at the replay first. Almost made it. Jack Legacy, Jay Jefferson. Or not Jay Jefferson, just Hillary Sanchez and Jake and Jack Legacy. Make contact. They both saved it, got onto the apron, but you know what happens. They're just gonna get back onto the racetrack. 31, Joe Jefferson gets collected. <coughs> and the officials were tempted to throw the caution. Should we throw it or not? Because you could actually already see the smoke and the wreck starting, but they like, not throw the yellow. When did they actually throw the yellow? But they did that, so you can go into overtime. So. Right here. <coughs> That's when they threw the yellow. And and you can already tell. They're, they're already wrecking. They're still wrecking. They're, they're already wrecking. If the 20 wasn't there, would they throw the caution? Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, the officials there, they wanted to push, but should we push it or not? And then, yeah, let's push the button. And then the yellow flag flies. So we're going overtime once again. So we'll see the results at the line. Reset the field. You know the deal. So, Aureus, Marcus, Nevins, Manny, Gustavo, Smith, Sasser, Edison, Jefferson, Brett, Carlson, Sanchez, Fisher, Rowe, and Jack Legacy. Fifteen cars. <coughs> On this, uh, gonna restart in overtime. Anyone below 15th, that's your official results. Here's the rest of the race results. So, oh, these are official results. So, 15 cars, two laps, no yellow. Should be interesting. <coughs> ah, damn it. Cough is still there, but not as bad. So, but yes, I will now take you in, take you to overtime. Here we go, overtime. Fifteen cars to settle it here for the final race of the regular season. Aureus on the inside, Marcus is actually on the outside. Three stars gonna be insane. Got two laps. Two laps. Can the four do it? Or will the seven do do it? Or will anybody else? Here they go, piece cars in. Waiting. Green flag's out. Here we go. We're underway. Back underway. Good start for the 72. 24 didn't really get going. That could open a spot for the four to get into the inside, and it does. He gets to the bottom. <coughs> Hold that bottom. Know that four cars could be aggressive. They're three wide behind. A little bit of contact, I think. There's a 9. He spun out earlier. Now he's up there in the top 5. <coughs> Here goes Nevins. Trying to get it back. Looks as Robles got turned side by side. That's going to allow her to pull away. <coughs> Coming to the white flag. Four clears him off the off turn four. Big run off the corner. He's gonna have have to have someone push him. 
No way he could catch the 72 alone unless he has the car to do it. Oh, he's pulled away a lot. He's coming, he's coming. Can he just get a whiff of that draft? No, he can't. Look at the speed difference. Look at that. Exact speeds. Down the back straight away. Or not. No, he's got something. He's got something. Into turn three. We just like Darlington, gonna be one spot short. Crash behind, Jack Lacassie and Devon get into the wall. Here they come, checkered flag is <laughs> out. And Orius is gonna win it. It's gonna be a mixed win for the 72 team, but he does it here at the Brickyard. Second of the season, but it won't be enough to get into the top 35. Luke Sasser's third. Yeah, he's in. Luke Sasser gets the playoffs. 43 team. Marcus Atechi. Well, when we calculate the points, we'll see where he's at. He has to be 14th or better to make it in. <coughs> Orius gets his second victory. But like I said, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a very odd win for that team. They won a big race, but they won't be able to make it in the playoffs. And that probably goes for the rest of a lot of drivers. Kevin Warden, Kyle Henderson, who've all won races. Stuart Gratton, Tony Green, who won no races, but he kind of probably make it on points, but all because of a header, I believe. Oh, right. What am I doing? Forgot we're in overtime. This chance was over early in the race. All because of a header. Well, let's take a look at the four race results. So Orius wins it. Marcus is actually second. We don't know for sure if he's in or out. Luke Sasser's definitely in. With that third place finish. Good job by the 43 team. Probably going to be a dark horse because we haven't talked much about Luke Sasser all season. We haven't talked much about him being in the playoffs. But who knows? Uh, Patrick uh, Jay Jefferson, fourth. Smith, fifth. Jeff Bright, sixth. Carlson, he's in. Yeah, he's in. Definitely in. Manny S, 8th. Savoy, 9th. Fisher, 10th. Yeah, he's in as well. Alexander, obviously in. Nevins, uh, Jack Legacy, uh, 21st in points, and finished 13th. I'm gonna say no, but who knows. Sanchez, 14th. <coughs> and Derek Edison, 15th. So, there was the rest of the race results. And uh, we'll calculate the points. See who was in. See who was out. Now we'll take you to well, we'll take you to victory lane first.